So, <clears throat> welcome back to another episode of your Digital Hustle News. As always, I'm Wade Teamer. Tezos is currently in a breakout as we speak, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see on this chart behind me, recorded at 12.02 p.m., fresh into the afternoon, we have nice contraction on the top chart, nice contraction from the bottom. Tezos is continuing, continuing its daily uptrend that was started around July, the end of July going into August. And now it looks like we're getting ready for the next leg up for Tezos, guys. As you can see right here, we have contraction. We came down below that lowest Bollinger Band and we are headed the other direction. Now, a potential level of resistance could be around the six to seven dollar range however with the news that i have for you in this video it might push us even further because un migration agency uses tezos based application emin in an anti-slavery and human trafficking prevention program okay this is tezos working with the united nations now it states that Tezos-based supply chain application E-Min is in developed by Diginex, the UN agency, International Organization for Migration, collected information on recruitment and employment experiences of Myanmar migrant workers. So this is focused on, again, the unbanked third world countries, emerging markets. Now, to begin, the UN Migration Agency is the lending intergovernmental organization, specifically in the field of migration, and is one of the specialized agencies for the United Nations. As part of the Crest Fashion Program, IOM is partnering with the fashion industry to eliminate slavery and human trafficking. One of the companies that took part in this program is Delta Guile, an Israeli textile firm headquartered in Tel Aviv with factories all around the world. They are using Tezos-based supply chain application e -Min. They've collected information on recruitment and employment experiences of Myanmar migrant workers. This information gathered enabled Delta Gali to pinpoint the stages of the labor migration journey where migrants are particularly vulnerable to exploitation. So to give you a real world breakdown of what that means, essentially, guys, for migrant farm workers in parts of the world, a lot of their work is based on them getting to the location. Oftentimes, these locations are very remote, which means that leaves them vulnerable to dangers. People who are, I don't know, maybe hunting big game, sex trafficking, so forth and so on. But this technology is being developed to protect those workers. Doesn't get any better than that. Now, our results show that the technology can facilitate better communication between migrant workers and their managers while helping international companies to get a bird's eye view of recruitment trends and risk in their supply chain at a regional and even global level. Mr. Leslie Shule, Global Compliance Director at Delta Gali, explained the project helped identify areas areas where Delta Gali must take a deeper dive into improving conditions for migrant workers at its Thai facility. It has also informed the direction of a forthcoming review of its factory management system and employer worker communication channels. Now, this isn't the first time or the first application used by the United Nations that was created by Tezos. EMIN is the second Tesla space application that is used in humanitarian aid solutions that are used in programs that are run by the United Nations. Earlier this year, we reported about Tezos based identity application, which is developed by Gravity. It is being used in the education credentials for Syrians under temporary protection in Turkey program for the United Nations development. Finally, Gravity has projects with the United Nations Development Program, Norwegian Red Cross, 
International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies, as well as the Norwegian Refugee Council and Save the Children. So this article came out this morning. Tezos started its pump this morning. Correlation? I'm just going to go out and limb here and say yes. The technicals look good, okay? Looking at the weekly, though, we're still kind of flat. However, there's a bit of contraction forming. This event may have been unexpected, okay? So that why that would explain why the technicals don't exactly show it with the exception of the daily chart. Now, let's look at the four hour to see how the rest of this day could go for Tezos. Still not seeing any resistance until around the $5.83 range, closer to $6. But I have a feeling that the Tezos community, Tezos buyers and investors have been waiting on this type of development and it might give us some you know, some added support. So looking at the hourly, definite strong uptrend, looking to continue. Hopefully Tezos can do something similar to Solana. Okay, that would be great. Only time will tell. But Tezos guys, looking great again. The daily chart is where the most action is. It shows the contraction points, it shows the momentum where the direction is going. And obviously the volume is coming in because of this huge humanitarian project with the United Nations, guys. The last project that I remember working with the UN was Engine Coin. That is why I highlight these projects to you guys. I highlight these projects because of the fact that their technology is being used in real world applications. This is perfect proof. So once again, wrapping up, UN Migration Agency uses Tezos based blockchain application in anti-slavery and human trafficking prevention program. I do think that's justified a 20 percent, maybe even 40 percent pump before the day is over. So if you found value in this video and you're holding Tezos, Let's smash that like button. And of course, if you're new, subscribe. So that way you never miss an update on global crypto adoption with a global perspective. Of course, you can always get down at me in the comments. Links will be down in the description for your convenience. And like I do in every video, extend to you a great day, prosperous day. Most importantly, that money. See y'all in the next one.